हेलो गाइस नमस्ते आई एम धार्मिक पटेल फ्रॉम एंड्रो ट्रैक्स एंड आई एम सौरभ नहार फ्रॉम ऑल गॉड टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू द टॉप 20 ट्रैक्स ऑफ यू यूटोपिया दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ टॉप 20 ट्रैक्स इफ यू वांट टू वॉच द फर्स्ट पार्ट गो टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड गो टू हिज चैनल सो द फर्स्ट ट्रैक इन दिस वीडियो इज डबल टैप टू वेक As you can see the double tap to sleep is already on and you can tap the status bar to sleep your phone but to wake it up you need to turn on this feature which is double tap to wake right above the double tap to sleep option and then when you double tap on your lock screen it gets turned on so for the next trick you need to go to the button setting and then select the buttons and layout option this will add some new features to your navigation keys As you can see it over here I have three more options now you can add how many you want from this three and then click save button as you can see now I have search coming to the next one for that you need to go to navigation ring keys and then you can add two two options which you want for now I'll select one as a youtube and one as a screenshot as you can see I have done a youtube and a screenshot and then hit right to save it Now when I go to the navigation ring key as you can see my YouTube app was launched and now I'll take a screenshot That's pretty much for this trick Coming to the next one For this you need to go to display and light and scroll down to the end There you will see the notification light option and then change the custom light which you want This is really great to know that if you have a missed call you can set a particular light and then you don't have to turn on your phone also You'll already know that you have a missed call and that is why the light is whatever you keep it. So that's pretty much for this one. Coming to the next one. This feature was launched on Android Marshmallow which was Android 6, but as you can see you can modify the permissions on the Utopia which is running on 5.1.1. This is really great to know that which application uses which permission on your device. The next trick You need to go to buttons and scroll down to power menu. On the stock Android you only have power of option but with this you can add or remove some options like screenshot, profile switcher or whatever you want. I will use reboot menu and airplane mode. Coming to the next one, for this you need to go to the notification drawer and then you can select right or left from where you want the quick pull down. of the notification as you can see now when i do left the quick setting are on the left side apart from that you also have option to customize everything on your quick settings as you can see you can add whatever you want and you can also delete whatever you want you can also change the places in this settings coming to the next one for this go to the lock screen shortcut option and then select the call icon you can change this which is a very great feature because on android marshmallow i have a voice assistant option which i do not use but still i cannot do anything of it as you can see here i can select any app application or whatever i want and keep it over there i can change both of them for now let's say i put an app application over there Now when I lock my screen as you can see on the right hand side I have YouTube which I have kept and on the right left hand side I have the data used which I just kept to show you This is really great feature for you coming to the next one which is the themes As you can see this theme helps you to apply multiple themes and make your custom theme as you can see it over here This is another great feature or you can change or download a new theme completely from the Synogen store. For that you have to log in. Coming to the next trick, for this you need to go to the display and light and change the DPI. This will basically reboot your smartphone and make it extra large. The more the DPI, the more zoom it will look. As you can see here, everything looks pretty zoomed in. In the app drawer you can see it clearly. If you don't 
get the difference you can go back in this video and see the app drawer there and app drawer now so that's pretty much for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to thumbs up and also share this video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos you can check the part 1 from the link in the description box below